praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Once again, you have brought us to this altar of grace. We glorify you because of your mercy that we enjoy. Daddy, please release your grace once more in the name of Jesus. Let the hearers of your word this day be blessed and let every soul be able to understand you in Jesus' name. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Hallelujah. Brethren, I welcome you to this altar of grace. I remain Pastor Idowu Adenero, and I pray that God of all grace will identify with you in Jesus' name. Quickly, today I'll be talking about the Word of God titled, Reject Frustration. Reject Frustration. See, frustration most time makes people misbehave or disbelieve themselves simply because the way things go. I'll be looking at the Word of God in the book of Numbers chapter 11, verse 10 to 15. Numbers chapter 11, from verse 10 to 15. And Moses held the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased, and Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant, and therefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou layest the burden of all these people upon me? Have I conceived all these people? Have I begotten them? That thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom, as a nursing father beareth the sucking child, and unto the land we thou swarest unto their father. Where should I have flesh to give unto all these people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. Verse 14. I am not able to bear all these people alone, because it is too heavy for me. Moses in verse 15, the last says, And if thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand, if I find favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. You can see Moses in this place. He was broken. Hallelujah. There are situations that breaks a child of God. There are situations that make a child of God to lose hope. No, I don't want to do again. Especially a called person. I don't know what has put you in a tight corner of life. And you feel like, no, 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 I don't think I can continue again. Many Christians, especially Christian leaders, are breathing hard under the tension of their responsibility. Frustration here, frustration there. Many family head are breathing hard under the tension of their responsibility from the wife, from the children, from the extended family, from the job, from the business, all sorts. Yes, it is normal. Moses was in this predicament and he even asked to, for God to kill him. I don't know. Somebody will say, oh, I prefer to go. It is enough. I have had enough. Moses in verse 40 says, I cannot bear it alone. In verse 15, he said, kill me. I don't know, maybe your situation has gotten to that point. You have prayed, no results. You have fasted, no results. You have gone from Monday to Monday, no results. You have even done a lot of things that people never thought you could do. Yet there's no solution. I tell you, this is a good news for you. My God is already here to tell you that I know what your life needs. Out of all the statements that Moses made, from verse 11 to 14. It was when he got to verse 14 that he made a reasonable point to God. And that was the only point that God responded to. In verse 14, he said, I am not able to bear all this alone. If you get to verse 16, that is the only thing that God responded to. Moses said, kill me in verse 15. God did not answer him. Mind you, if you cry, if you poison yourself, God will not allow you to die. The only thing is that you will bear the consequence of it. Suicide is not a solution. Wait upon God. When we got to verse 16, God said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be elder of the people, and officer over them. Bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with me. 
The solution that God gave Moses was that God provided 70 men to bear his load. The only thing that God responded to is, I cannot bear this alone. Instead of getting frustrated, ask for God's own solution. God has the right solution to that your predicament. He knows what he's going to give you. He knows how he's going to show forth. Don't give up. Sister, you are already thinking the best thing is let me go and do what I know is not right. I have seen many that has gone because of late marriage, late uh, inability to, to track down a future partner. They have married to somebody, somebody you too you know that does not deserve you. God is not too late. Wait, he will do the right thing for you. The Lord God will bless you in Jesus' name. I pray for as many that are under my voice today. That situation that has taken you to the point of being broken, that has made you feel so frustrated, I pray that God rise for your sake today in Jesus' name. You that woman, you that man, listen to me very well. I raise your case to God today. Let God intervene for your sake in the name of Jesus. That problem will not destroy you. You will overcome at last. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Brethren, I thank you, all of you that have been following us up on our Facebook and our YouTube channel. The Lord God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Please, if you have not subscribed, I want to beg you, please subscribe. So now you can be getting the notification. Then write your comment, your prayer points, and everything. Surely, I promise I will be praying for you. The Lord God will bless you in Jesus' name. Our uh, Zoom prayer, we have made some adjustments in it. Instead of the five nights of the week, now we go three nights. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 12 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. 12 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. And the Lord God will bless you as you join us in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.